Ashley Hyland has gone to a whole new level. Take a look. Are my girls in the group dance? Kelly, you brought in choreographers. This is not about your children. This is about you. You need to play by my rules. I asked for choreography that was what my kids can do. Well, I wanted you know them what? to be challenged. Right. Not I say I wanted Ricky. For pay. My daughter was a wreck all freaking week. And now my kid is having attacks because she is afraid of you and afraid of what you're going to do to her. And now that feud has gone from reality TV to a real-life court of law. So here to tell us about it is Abby Lee Miller. Wow. Abby Lee. Wow. wow. Thank you for, for, for coming on the show. Let me ask you. Um, so last week, Kelly Hyland, who we just saw, she's a dance mom. Uh, she was in court to be arraigned on charges that you pressed against her way back in November for assault. Yes. Now, this all started after a competition in the Bronx. Right. Uh, in Bronx, New York. And this what? is all her fault. It's all Kelly Holland's fault. No, it's all her It's fault. all Jenny McCarthy's fault. <laughs> yes. What ha tell us what happened. Because if I would have been the, the new host of The View... Oh, this wouldn't have happened. This wouldn't have happened. I wouldn't have been up in the Bronx. Like I would have been down here. Excuse we me. like your You dance. wouldn't have been the new co-host. I'm <laughs> sorry. We chose Jenny. Too bad. Skinny <laughs> blonde. Skinny blonde. Wait a minute. Don't get distracted. Let's Skinny get blonde. Distracted. We, know we know. Fight. But we love you on Dance Moms. But what happened with you and Kelly? I thought that was just on TV. What is real? Oh, it's all real. People ask me, why is your show so why is your show so popular? Why does it work? This, that, and the other thing. Because it's real. Okay, well, it's all real. And these happened? children have been my students at the dance studio that my mother formerly owned, Mary and Lorraine Dance Studio, for years and years and years before there ever was a television show. So if they were unhappy with the training or the tutelage or the service, why didn't they leave? Before okay, show. well then what happened at this competition okay. in the Bronx? So we're in the Bronx. Uh, it was not the best of circumstances. It was a beautiful theater, beautiful stage, but we were like three stories under the stage, like okay. at Radio City, in very cramped quarters. Okay. It was very cold. It was dingy. Uh, and the girls, her two children, had solos that week. Okay. And we all know from the history of the show that whenever yeah, her page. kids have okay. a solo, she bails. Okay. The recital, she bails. This time, she bails. She walks out, they never end up doing it. Now, you know, Maddie did 17 solos in a row mm -hmm. without a hitch. Right. It's her job. She does what she's supposed to do. Well, it, it just got crazy and it was just boiling and boiling and boiling. And I went into the dressing room to take a new mom that has now been given a permanent position on the show in and introduce her daughter. And they had people coming and going with these auditions all the time. So I, break, I take them into the room and introduce them. And right in front of this woman, she starts with me. Kelly. Well, yes, give, well, let her do my daughter's part. Well, get, put her in the group and take my kid out. So the child's sitting there and I looked at her and I said, do you want to dance or don't you want to dance? Like, open your mouth and say something. Right. So Kelly kept coming towards me and I was sitting in the corner in a chair and I stood up because, like, shit. She had shoes yeah. on, and I stood up, and I went towards her. And I said, stop putting words in my mouth. You just said to my daughter, did it? I said, no, I didn't. It was two seconds ago. I know exactly what I said. Stop. So we got closer and closer, and then she said, don't put your finger in my face. And she started putting her finger in my face. So then, jokingly and trying to make light of the situation, because all the children were there, I was like... Right. And... See, it was funny. I thought it was funny. <laughs> trying to break the ice. And with that, she went crazy. Well, I'm not going to say that. I'm not a Did medical she pull your hair? professional. She yes. She yanked my hair, and I have a little, I have my do, and I have a little bump it in. So when you pull your own hair, it's like not going to come out. But when you pull that, and it's pinned into your head, it hurts. So now the wind came out? Oh, my God. You'll be in trouble. Yes. Can I ask you a general question? Yes. Okay. You know, part of what makes this interesting is your antagonism and the fact that you do go... Uh, uh, okay. We're, we're in let me, let me, let me, let me, uh, We know well, how we love the that. game. We love that and we know the way you are. Okay. And that's what makes it interesting, the fights and the arguments. When you sat down here, you turned to me and you said, be nice to me. Right? <laughs> you did? Okay. And I said, I'm always nice. Well, I right? love you and I want to keep up. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. And I want to keep... But, but my point is, you're so sensitive that you said, be, be nice to me, and yet 
You can give it. Oh, no, I can take it. Believe me, I take it. I take it. I take it from the press. I take it from the producers. I take it from the public. I, I've, I took it for 30 years before there ever there was a show. Mm. Well, let me ask you, you know, there, there, there was a court-ordered no-contact order with Kelly to stay away from you. So what happens to her two daughters? Are they going to be on the team still? No, no. Oh, there's, really? there's actually three, three children her two and another one that have not so they're gonna be off signed. the show also no they i don't know that's not up to me but they are not members of the abby lee dance company they walk into my studio to shoot the show that's it oh. the other children maddie kendall nia mckenzie they're there every day like monday when we're dark and we don't shoot they're in class at 4 15 taking their dance classes they're continuing their studies you they're training sorry for the kids that have to just witness this i felt really sorry oh. maddie the minute it was over the altercation, she clung to me and yes. was bawling her eyeballs out, saying that, you I'm know, Miss Alvy, are you okay? I, I thought her. this was Teen Mom the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you are so silly. Oh, we, we have that show, too. We have a lot of Emily, Emily, we want to wish you well. We love Dan's moms, and we really hope it, it, everything, you know, it's some well, healing you, that you goes gonna on. you going to have me back when my book comes out? We're, we're going to have, of course. We love having you on. We want to thank Abby Lee Miller. We're going to be right back. <laughs> The countdown to Oscar Sunday continues with the Oscar-nominated star and writer of Philomena, Steve Coogan, and the real Philomena Lee. Next.